obviously you've got to try and impress the wife like here and there sometimes like take her for a meal or just buy a flower just little inklings along the way some of the guys take time out in the countryside to visit a farm and experience being farmers for a day the guys are given an opportunity to become mums to the young calves Andy is moved by the experience, but seems to have confused milking with feeding a baby. That whole process of, of milking, it's, it's a magical experience. Of milking? Yeah, what we just did there. Yeah, no, I'm, talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about a real baby, not a cow. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm saying in comparison to that, when you're milking it. Take the bottle. Like, just, just the milking experience, just... <laughs> there you go, milk. Andy, mm-hmm. could you do me a favour? Come like... Two o'clock this morning, uh, Vaughan woke me up, turned turn the lights on. It's like, Andy, I've got a girl back here. Can I? You, can you? Can you go into the next room? Could you go and sleep in Sean's bed? Sean's upstairs. I got a girl here. I was like, no, I really just want to sleep. I had a nice little dream. You just woken me up now, and I can't have that now. And it was like, okay, right. If you really want me to go, then I go. So I went into Sean's bed. I don't really agree with, you know, Sean, he's cheating on his girlfriend, I don't know how many times, um, and she doesn't even know yet, and I would, I'd never do that. I, I can't stand it when people do that. What positions did you have in? What's the, what, I mean, what do you like? I like, I like it doggy style. Do you, do you like anal sex with them? Never tried it. I have. I, but that was that was one drunken night. That was one drunken night. You wouldn't do it again. Would I do it again? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just don't like the idea of just all poo around yeah. me. Was he quite gentle with you? He. <laughs> <laughs> have you had anal sex, Mark? Yeah, I think so because you can be more uh, brutal. I'm, I'm quite rough. I'm very rough. Actually. Yeah, but quite yeah. a lot of girls don't like it though. We don't quite like the, the idea of. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, quite a lot of them do. They, yeah. you know, the dirty, slutty. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, the guys leave the girls and bright lights of Newquay behind and head out to a countryside bar famed for its cider. The practical jokes don't stop with the ram. Hey. That's like a real. Uh, oh my god, look at that. Oh, oh, my, oh yeah, what, we've got to play prank with it looks real. Idris, oh. Okay, if you saw oh. this, if I put this on, would you think it's real? Dumb, on Idris. Idris, it's got to be Idris in there. Got to be. Yeah. Everyone's got to be like, oh my, how did you catch that? And you just hold it like you're yeah, wrestling. that's not going to happen, though. No. It will work. We're just all going to crowd it's around Idris. and go, oh, look at this snake. It's Idris. It will work. He jumped on his chair and it did like a long jump and he just went crazy. He was just flying about everywhere and he was screaming so much. <laughs> So how many um, people have you slept with? A couple. I'll go with around 50. Have you really? Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, why are you surprised? Why are you surprised? How many have you slept with? I've slept with, a, I've slept with around, I'm not going to lie, around 40. Uh, seven. <laughs> it's, it's not a big number, but <laughs> it's it doesn't, about, it doesn't it's have to be. Numbers. It's quantity. It's no, it's quality, not quantity. Oh, yeah. I like the way you put that. Yeah, that is true. Dom and Andy have decided it's time the other hunks learnt a few moves. So they've taken them down to the beach for a lesson. First up, modelling. Just keep it natural, you know, just walking down the street, right? And then when you walk back in the centre, you walk back down. Job's done. It's time for some catwalk practice. Oh, he's nailed it. Oh, oh he didn't. Oh, he's giving it the wiggle. Oh, too much. Too it's the much. Tone it down. <laughs> Tone it down. Sulky look, baby. Now stop. There you go. Oh. What are you going to do? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh I'm scared. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's one for the ladies. 
and back down. There we go. That's a wrap. Well done, guys. Woo! Now it's Dom's turn to try and whip the boys into shape. Oh, it's like an angel. Look at him. <laughs> Spiralling through the desert. <laughs> He's like Bambi. <laughs> As the day draws to a close in Yuki, some of the guys are having a drink on the beach. And it turns out even hunks have fears. What about you, Andy? What's your, what would you say your greatest fear is? It's just being lonely. I don't want to be one of these like old people who just just live alone. And that, it really does scare me. I want to have like a really happy life and have a happy, wealthy family. There's no rest for the hunks yet. They're throwing a bomb theme party next week. Time to don their tuxedos and look for potential party guests on the streets of Newquay with a tray of Cornish pasties to attract the ladies. Bring some mates and that, you know, all the Cornish pasties you want. You know? <laughs> <laughs> seem like a bit of a greedy one with that one, so uh, you know, tag along. When I went up to like one or two girls, I started off the conversation, you know, oh, so you living in Nuki, up for a party tonight, and then, you know, he, normally, normally it'd be Mark, he'd just swoop in there and go, I don't know, some probably do a Sylvester Stallone impression. Yeah. So then she'd just turn back on me, and then that's it. So I was just stranded, just holding the pasties as always. <laughs> One of the best ways to make new friends. Come to a party tomorrow. Come to a party. Yeah, I think I will. We were talking to her, she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll come to a party. Yeah, definitely, really up for it. We're like, all right, this is cool. She's quite a fit girl. Like, go on. No, I don't know them. Oh, oh, don't know they them. work so, in the shop. Oh, do you oh, work there? there? No, I don't work there. Why are you just hanging in there? No, I'm waiting. My, my boyfriend's buying oh, clothes. Oh, right, that's good. Just hanging uh, about. Uh, so, uh, let's go. Should we move on? Shall we? And we were like, ah! Walk away. It's just, why did she say that? She could have just said nothing. It's the day of the big rowing race. During their time in Cornwall, some of the hunks have spent a lot of time pulling girls. Now it's time to compete against them. Andy, Jamie, Mark, Vaughan, Sam and Sammy have been picked to represent the hunks. One of the teams arrives back from a last minute warm up. Some of the girls, like some of them are pretty hench, like, you know, they could like pick up a couple of trucks on their arms, but like some of them are just like normal, just girls really. I don't know how they got the power behind them to do it. Ready? The hunks are in the white boat. You'll go out to time and it'll all go to cop. It was really, really hard. Like, even after the first, like, ten minutes, I just really just wanted to stop. But no one can stop because you're going to let the team down, so you just had to, unfortunately, just keep going. Go on, guys! You're catching up! <laughs> See, now you lot. busted! <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much like hell. The hunks are dropped so far behind that their cox has allowed them to take a shortcut to give them a fighting chance. So for the moment, they're ahead of the ladies. I don't mind getting beaten by girls. It was it was inevitable. It was going to happen anyway. You know, Lisa went away with something. Lisa went away with my dignity. <laughs> 